all of these homes you see here have sold for around $500,000 in 2014. If you've been following the housing market at all in the last few years, you know house prices have gone up dramatically. And unfortunately, a single family home for $500,000 no longer exists in Kelowna. And that's what we're gonna look at today. What can you get for around $500,000 in Kelowna? We're going to hop over to realtor.ca. I've picked five listings that I think are great deals right now. Before we do that, my name is James Roffel, realtor here in Kelowna, British Columbia, serving Kelowna and the Okanagan area. So if you are looking to maybe move to this area or you just have general questions, please feel free to shoot me an email. I've left my information down below in the description. And if you want to see more content like this, please hit that subscribe button and drop a like so other people like you can see this video as well. All right, so let's hop over to realtor.ca and see what my top five picks are. All right, so my top pick number one, we have unit number 202, 539 Yates Road. We'll go to the directions here, just so you know exactly where it is in town. That is not my location, if it's showing up on the map. <laughs> um, so this is located in Kelowna's Glenmore neighborhood. Great access to, I mean, shopping. It's very, very central um, in Kelowna. And if you are a student, it, if you can't rent a place, say at the university, it's a great place to rent um, if you are looking to go you know, to the university because there's easy access to the university. Um, you're taking John, you just go up Glenmore Road, take John Hindle, and then you're at the university in you know, 10, 15 minutes at the latest. I would, say, I would say 15 minutes after parking and all that. So yeah, super central, great location, property itself, so you're at 485, so just under the $500,000 mark. As I was saying, we'll, we'll talk about properties that are around 500. Um, so yeah, two bed, two bath condo. You're looking at just under a uh, thousand square feet and it's a newish building. It's, it's a great, uh, there's actually, what is there? Three, six, seven, eight buildings in, in this property and they're built in 2008. Well kept, there's a pool. Um, Pool area. Let's see if they have pictures of it. Yeah. Well, this is the deck here. So there's a pool area and stuff um, in the in the middle of the whole complex. So there's great amenities, and for just under a thousand square feet, uh, for 485, that's pretty good in Kelowna. Um, now, one thing I always do say is that if you're looking for more space, and you you know, you can handle being in, I mean, this, this building isn't that old, but some of the older buildings have way more space than the new ones. Yes, the new ones may have more amenities in the building, and obviously it's nice to have new, uh, but for virtually the same price, uh, you can get a lot more space. So just if you're if you're looking at 500,000, you're like, oh, I, I only see 700 square feet for 500,000. Look at the older buildings, because you can really get some value there. Um, yeah, so that's number one. Two bed, two bath condo, Yates Road, um, in the Verve it's called, the Verve Complex, uh, just under a thousand square feet. And number two, we have unit 308, 1534 Lawrence Avenue. Now, the reason I picked this place is the sheer size of the unit itself. So, as you can tell from the pictures, um, it's quite dated, uh, but I'll just show you the everything else after. Um, so yeah, carpets, obviously there's lots of wallpaper. It needs some TLC, it needs some updating, but if you can handle the live in there, or maybe you can renovate it before you move in, 495, three bed, two bath. Three beds pretty rare um, in terms of condos. I mean, they obviously they do exist, but um, for 495, a three bedroom that's pretty rare. Obviously, again, it does need updating. Um, but look at the size of it. Almost 16 or just over 1,500 square feet. So that's where the value, a lot of the value is in, in the sheer size of it. And uh, again, the location. So I'll just show you the location. It's kind of just down the down the road from where we just were. So the Verve was just uh, up in this area here, and we're just down a little bit further um, towards the center of town. So you have again, it's very close. You know, Glenmore Road. Take that to the university, or you can you know go down uh, straight down uh, Birch, hit the highway. You know, you're on the west side pretty quick or out of town pretty quick. So it's very central. Uh, it's close to, again, the Okanagan College as well. So you're right in the middle of Okanagan College and the university. So great location there. And yeah, so this is one I wanted to showcase because 
you know, it's around the $500,000 mark. It's the purpose of this video. And just the sheer size of it, like if you, and the location. So the size and location of this one are, are key. You know, if you're, if you're into, uh, you know, renovating at all, um, you're looking for some value, there's a lot of space here. All right, next up, number three, we have unit number four, 750 Bad Key Road. In terms of directions, you are in the Rutland neighborhood of Kelowna, so you're probably about 15 minutes away from where the other two were here along Glenmore Road. Um, you're, again, close to the university, the uh, airport, downtown, you're pretty central to everything. And you are in Kelowna's Rutland neighborhood, and there's shopping and everything in this neighborhood too. Again, close to the bridge and all that, so good location. And for, for under 500,000, there aren't too many uh, townhouses uh, in Kelowna available for that price. Um, so that is pretty rare to see a townhouse for under, under that price. Um, Rutland is more of the you know, less expensive neighborhoods to begin with. Uh, but this one you're getting two bedroom, three bathroom, and it says here there's a den as well. I'll just go through some of the pictures. Uh, you know, it does need a little bit of updating, but that's, it's, not, not, it's not like it's not livable just it's just not new <laughs> uh, so many people want new I'm like you can get more value if you buy a little bit older but it's to each his own uh, so yeah good looking property a little patio a little green space out back that's common common area there's no fence or anything uh, but yeah so for under 500,000 you're looking at uh, was it 1333 square feet and this one was built in 1982. And again, you get in three beds, or two beds, three bathroom, plus a den as well. So next up, we have unit 303457 West Avenue. Now this is located in Kelowna's Pandozi neighborhood. So a super trendy neighborhood, close to the lake. Uh, you can see here, all the different beaches along here. There's a new um, park right here with a public pier, uh, beach, uh, basketball hoops, all that. Uh, close to restaurants, I mean McDonald's, I don't know if you call that a restaurant, but, <laughs> uh, but it has a bunch of funky restaurants along Pandozi, very, very trendy neighborhood. Um, and then you're, you know, you're, you're really close to the hospital, so maybe if you're a nurse, um, very close to work, um, all that. And then shopping and stuff is just down here, Urban Fair, you have Save On Foods, shop, Shoppers Downward, so everything's really close. So great location, one of the more popular locations. Um, in Kelowna in terms of um, condos and this one in particular in my opinion has great value for for what you get so it is a one bedroom um, which is a drawback it's a little harder to sell the one bedrooms but one bedroom two bath 525 now it's updated kitchen and brand new stainless steel appliances and I'll show you the pictures in a minute here uh, but in terms of value, so it was built in 2008, so if you call that a little bit older, so it's similar to the Verve, uh, but you do get size similar to the Verve as well. So you get almost a thousand square feet uh, for you know around $500,000. So this one's listed at 525. Um, so this is the updated kitchen, really nice kitchen. Um, and then again, you can just see the size in terms of what you would get for something newer. Um, yeah, so that's the building itself. Trendy neighborhood, nice bedroom, dual sinks. Uh, that would be your second bathroom. Patio looking so out back. So that's one of the new towers that's going up there. And yeah, it looks like new washer and dryer as well. So yeah, great building, great location, great value. So that was number 303-457 West Ave. And last but not least, we have unit number 703-1471 St. Paul Street. Now, the reason I picked this one was because of, well, the price. It's around the $500,000 mark. That's for this video. And the location. So this one is right downtown. So for under $500,000, you're getting a condo downtown, right downtown. You're close to all the, all the restaurants, all the, the beaches, um, everything. And in terms of where we just were, uh, we were just down here in the Pandozi area, so it's very close, just over the highway from where we just were on the last one on West Ave. So if we go back to the listing here, so in terms of what you get, so it's five, it's just over 500 square feet. It's one bed, one bath. 
built in 2021 so everything's going to be very new if you're looking for turnkey and not what i was suggesting earlier if you were looking for a larger unit that you wanted to up upgrade um, a lot of people are looking for that turnkey uh, lifestyle where they can just move everything in and and live so this is a great spot looks pretty wide i mean you can, can never tell from the pictures but it's always good to book a showing first um, but uh, great building is called the brooklyn uh, let's go down here so brooklyn at 1471 uh, st st paul street and it also has a rooftop patio for um, residents so you can i don't know if you can book it out or, or whatever but you can have a barbecue up here with friends you get a beautiful lake view a little bar up there it's great it's a great spot very very close to the lake the yacht club's right there there's restaurants there's everything downtown so great value in terms of location um size so this is a as i mentioned before you're in the newer buildings you're going to get smaller square footage but again everything's brand new um this one does come with the store oversized storage locker i don't know what oversized means um in terms of the storage locker but they did pay fifteen thousand dollars for it and this one was probably an airbnb because it does have gst attached to it so you keep that in mind sometimes when you're looking at these newer buildings so yeah, so that one's it. 703-1471 St. Paul Street. And that is my top five picks for homes under $500,000 right now. If you are one of those people that are looking for a condo, you know, maybe your budget's around $500,000 and you're looking to make a move to the Kelowna or the Okanagan area, I would love to help you out. I have left my information down below, either my schedule, you can book an appointment with me through there, or uh, just email me directly. It's probably the easiest way, but um, the choice is yours. And if you did get any value out of this video, again, I ask you to hit the subscribe button and drop a like so other people like you can see this video as well. Thanks so much and have a good day.